Still this is uh, episode 15. Ooh. Welcome back. Laced Up Podcast here. So before we get into our guest that we have today, um, you might see a familiar face here on the set. Yeah. Uh, but he's joined the Laced Up Podcast. We want to welcome Bentley to the show. Yes. Okay. yes. Welcome, yeah. Bentley. New face, hey. new perspective. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> we need that. We me. need that. Welcome, brother. Welcome. <laughs> Season two. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Definitely, oh, definitely man. started something new in 2021, guys. Right. Right. So without any further ado, let me get into my co-host. Stuff here. You back. You back, Steph. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. It's your boy, Bola. And we have a very special guest here today, but I'm going to let our first lady uh, introduce her. Steph, go ahead. Yes, I am so, so excited. The first season of season two, or the first um, person for oh. season two. I am? Right. Yes, oh. the full episode. Yeah. Um, Tasha, she has really like reeled me into the sneaker scene in Houston, and she's been so amazing. So I had to have you on. Thanks, um, sis. And we really just want to get into it. So we're excited to ask you all these questions. Yes, girl. Chris, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. It's a, been course. a long time coming. Of right. course, of course. So Her Grails, how did that come about? And kind of tell us how it started and, and what are you trying to do in the city and just overall? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, technically, Her Grails started three years ago. Um, we were under a different name at the time. We just recently switched over in 2020. Um, it was essentially like, I always say, just the next step. It mm -hmm. was just such an easy next step. You know, I was going to events. Everyone knew me as like the sneaker summit girl. And yeah. so <laughs> I was like, you know, um, we need more women at these events. Um, and I hang around women that wear sneakers. Yeah. So let's, yeah. you know, showcase them. And yeah. so... Just started throwing more events tailored towards women in the sneaker community. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're really excited to be here now under a new name. Um, you know, the response has been great under that. Mm -hmm. We were nervous. And so in May when we re relaunched, um, we were a little nervous. Yeah. And the name took forever because uh, all the good ones were already taken by yeah. then. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, but I love it. I love her grills. Everyone else has been really um, excited for us and, you know, giving us good feedback. So I'm really excited for the future. Yeah, it's been amazing. I know I've been to a good amount of y'all's yes, events. And I think it's been great to see everybody just support each other yes and there's been great support from the men as well absolutely so i think that would be like my next question how has that been being a woman in the sneaker community um and like trying to grow your business um for women yeah absolutely i think uh it's been i mean it has it's been difficult and then sometimes not as difficult i think as i thought um, I think just because Houston is also just such a supportive mm -hmm. uh, city. And I always say I couldn't have done it anywhere else. Um, so the men, like you said, the women, they're all like supportive. And yeah. so I, they come to our events, they post our stuff, mm -hmm. they purchase my stuff. And I think that um, I guess I always say like why it's been easier for me is because I think my resume kind of helped speak yeah. for me yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's not like oh where'd this girl come from she came from nebraska didn't mm -hmm. have nothing you know what i mean like so you know obviously working with karma loop way back in the day mm -hmm. working karma with sneaker loop. summit <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah uh, shout out to the old heads that know what that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you know working with sneaker summit five years like this is no new thing to me mm -hmm. i've been in the game so i think it's a lot of respect from um other sneaker heads yeah so that so it's a little easier for me um, and then I, I know what I'm talking about. So right. Exactly. Exactly. For the people that don't know, what, what are some of the stuff that you released yourself? Uh, for merch? Yeah. Uh, so we've, re I mean, I've just released shirts. We just yes. released a planter the pot. Planter? That's uh, so cute. I know. So it's like a little shoe box. Yeah. Um, it, that you can put like succulents in or plants. We just released those. I only did like 30 and they yeah. sold out instantly. Oh, it was wow. crazy. Oh, wow. That's great. I was overwhelmed. Yeah. Because uh, we they don't do a though. lot of product. Yeah, we don't do a lot of product. I think because I'm scary. I'm like, no one's going to buy this. I'd be sitting at home like, you I have, have all so these many ideas. supporters. I know. I just no. be scary, y'all. I'd be like, no one's going to buy this shirt. Mm -hmm. And, and it just has our logo on it. Yeah. And everyone yeah. buys it. Well, I'm just like, this is so. So we've done crew necks, we've done beanies, uh, mm -hmm. t shirts, we've had them embroidered. 
Um, what else have I dropped? I'm trying to think. That might be about it for I now. I need to get some new uh, the stuff that you merch. normally have yeah. like, during the events and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but this planner pot is definitely new. Okay, and yeah, that's cool way different than I ever thought the idea we came about like right before the launch in September mm -hmm. and then I just released it what right before Christmas I yeah. got a question for you you, yeah. you said you was from Nebraska yeah corn fed and bread baby uh, <laughs> shout Nebraska. out to Huskers uh, so, oh my so, god so what is What's out there in Nebraska? I'm shocked. I know. Well, not much, right. um, which is why I left. But I was born and raised. I was there for like 19 years, 20 uh -huh. years. And, um, I mean, it's a great, like, college town. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. raise your family. Cost of living is amazing. Uh -huh. um, they have a, you know, it's a lot different now. What's right. the sneakers community look like? Um, yeah. very, well, it's a lot different now. But still, back then, I mean, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I always laugh, like, if we weren't like Jordan people there. Mm -hmm. It was like K-Swiss, yeah. Fat Farms. Right. Right. Oh, like, wow. we thought we was heavy. <laughs> like, we thought we were so dope in our Fat Farms uh -huh. with the thick laces. Bola, did you have on Fat Farm nothing? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> we talked about these K-Swiss, Oh, my God. Oh, wait, K-Swiss every school year. Absolutely. Nice. So when did, when did you That's get into sneakers then? Um, I think right before I went to college. So, mm -hmm. like, that dunk era. Okay. Like... I mean, I was like, I think 1920. Like, but, but how? Um, I'm not sure. I feel like I've always been a tomboy. Mm -hmm. And so it was just more comfortable. And so just wearing that stuff, I was like, oh, and then I guess just started seeing more heat when I went to college. Mm -hmm. I, so I moved to Kansas City for college. And so then I saw a little more okay. heat. Yeah. And I saw my other friends have different shoes on. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is crazy. These you are know. fat farms. What are those? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 for real. That's exactly what I was like. I was like, what are these? And. Um, you know, there were some skate shops out there. I interned at a skate shop out there. Uh, and so I kind of saw all those. Gotcha. And so, um, yeah, just seeing, I guess, moving out of Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. You keep and going to college. That you keep that forces. You. Oh, I keep some in forces. Rotation. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I feel like I say this in all my interviews. Every sneakerhead has to have a pair of forces. Yeah. It's like. Definitely. The ultimate right. shoe, it and is. you can rock with anything. Mm -hmm. it is for sure. You mean like all white or just in general? I mean, I think in general, but you definitely need it all white. Yeah, all I feel white. like, but I, do, I think in general, I do I not have. I love. All white. I don't I have any. I used to buy them by, by the twos. I, I have <laughs> one. I have the deconstructed one for forces, oh, and that's it. Have, no, you have one you. For jeans, uh, one for shorts. Uh, don't you have uh, off whites? Ma'am? I do, I do. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> she tried to find it over here. I know she got a closet. And I'm like, no, you have all the oh, white forces. at the last minute. <laughs> exactly. Um, Bola, you laughed at me for having forces. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. You had the high tops. <laughs> I had the high tops. Yeah, I, I like high tops. For me. I said, no, I can't do With we, the, with we, the uh, nylon strap, I said, I can't do that. We just, no. I just no high. No, they do. No, you had to uh, misplace checks. But they're still high. Yeah. yeah. Is that, does they it change are, it? No. I, I, I ain't like Phil's. Just cause it's oh. no. <laughs> see, it's just because it's Phil. Now we're <laughs> getting to the real level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I said, no, There's an like issue with Phil. Yeah. Highs, I think, look better on men. Yeah. But oh, yeah. Me, for me sure. lows. They're Highs just, are sometimes uncomfortable for me. Yeah. But I have a few. I just don't ever wear them. Mm. Yeah. So we were talking about shoes just now. When you got into it, what was like the first shoe that you still remember? that you fell in love with, or, or you purchased? Yeah, so um, definitely, I would say, this is also my first like Jordan memory, but like my Bugs Bunny 8s, and I brought mm. them as well. But just yes. because that was my first Jordan, so mm -hmm. at, I think I was 21 at the time, maybe 22, and then I wore them to walk across the stage. I graduated in those. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's so like... you got yeah, memories in those. That's, that's <laughs> real dope. Yeah, oh, thank that's you. A, that's yeah. a dope one right no there. No heels. No heels. Absolutely not. No heels. I walked across the stage with my cap and gown and my Bugs Bunny 8s. Oh, okay. I, th I think that 8 is a, uh, is an interesting story, right? Because a lot of people don't even... They probably, a lot of people don't mess with eights. No, yeah. like, no. I have never bought another one. I, yeah. I got aqua eights. I got the playoff. Oh, he loves eights. eights there. I love eights. Oh, mm -hmm. Aqua eights are one of my favorites. I don't have a pair. Yeah. No eights? None. And no. that was one? my only pair. Not one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it's a hard shoe to wear I know. sometimes. I know. Yeah, they're, they're yes. hard. They're what what do you do with your straps? I mean, I used to have them just dangling. Okay. And so, like, that. Really? Yeah. All the way. I used to have some combat boots. I used like, to have them just hitting gang signs. I don't back know. Back in the day when different. I was younger, back in like middle school, I used yeah. to let them, let them hang. But now I let them. That's funny. Like, <laughs> have y'all's the way you change your, like, your lace your shoes? Has it changed as you got older? Oh, yeah. oh for yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. That's a good question. Like yeah. these, I've that had these for years. You used to let them loose. And now I'm upset because 
they're so tight. I used to wear my shoes tight. Yeah. Really? yeah. Now I wear them more loose, and I'm mm. like, dang, I'm gonna mess this See, shoe I, I up. Went the opposite way. Really? I used to have my stuff dangling out. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now yeah. I'm. I tie right. Mine up. Yeah. yeah. It you depends on the shoe. Look. Yeah, you I want, want the narrow, narrow look. look. Magnum really yeah. interesting. It, it also men's feet are different, but yeah. it depends on the mm. shoe. Mm -hmm. Like these, yeah, I, uh, these Air Max nineties, I don't really tie. Okay, you don't. Mm -mm. Your foot is fat or what? No, okay. I just like that loose. <laughs> I like that loose <laughs> foot. I, like I, I, can't, I can't wear my forces loose. Oh, yeah. I can. Uh -uh. They have to be I, fit. I, I, never I like I, if it's yeah. too tight, it looks. Looks like uh, you a killer. Mm -mm. A killer? Yeah, like them. <laughs> you sound like you, you got all black. Yeah, you sound like you got like all black forces. <laughs> exactly. Like, right? 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 No, exactly. Not, that's not exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, let's talk about the stigma of all black forces. Okay, we can talk about it. You're a killer. Is it that bad? It's yeah, bad. It's bad. bad. I would it's bad. not. It's I would not. I never owned a pair. You bought some black no, forces. No, no, you bought Stussy's probably. I was about to say, that's not the same. That's not the same. Or the Clown Dagar songs. We're getting different textures and stuff. Let's not go there right now. That's not it. Yeah, that's, that's not you. it. That's you not it. Go tag no, you. it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they tried to bring them back uh, last year, and, and it so don't mm -hmm. work. Like, it so, don't. so no all black lows. You mid. might as well get some SASs, boy. No. Go. It's not okay, happening. Okay. Become a, a to... nurse, like I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like all black shoes. Period. Yeah. I'm not a huge. I only have okay. maybe two all black. Uh, and th but that's like I'm really. That's, that's weird. Another, that's what, 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 what are all those shoes though? Huh? What are they? I have I guess the up tempos. There's a little bit of white in there. Okay. It. Oh, but that's, that's um, and then what's my other one? Oh, I mean I, the uh, those all mm -hmm. Okay. Are, but they have a little something yeah, in there too. Yeah. But those yeah. are probably little. the only two all black shoes that I own. Yeah, I'm trying to think. think. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I had a question for you. You said that you changed the name. Yes. What made you change the name? So, and how did you come up with the new name? Yeah, yeah so absolutely. So I left Sneaker Summit okay. in March. And so we went back and forth on saying if we should keep the name or not. Mm -hmm. And um, at the, I spoke with a lot of people and yeah. had a lot of advice. And yeah. I was like, at the end of the day, like, do I want my name to be attached to to them forever yeah okay. and if i'm not a part of them it would have been like oh i'm not with sneaker summit but i'm still sneak her summit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it wouldn't have made sense and i think just also me growing and yeah. thinking like f long term like this is my legacy this is what's going to be tied to me forever yeah. right so um that was the reason we decided to change it um mm -hmm. just again to start fresh this is us you know no, we're not tied to or affiliated to anybody mm -hmm. else. Right. Um, and the name change, oh my goodness. We went through so many different names. Really? It was so difficult. Trying I like that one though. Name. Yeah. Yes. That, that wasn't fits, already so. taken. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was still obviously cool, mm -hmm. hip. Right. Uh, but we went through, I'm telling you, it was a process. I mean, obviously, I think a couple months mm -hmm. took for us to actually come up with this. Well, like stick it. with it. Yeah. I like it. It's dope. Thank you. Yeah. I know. You I love it now. Are y'all going to be like doing it. anything for your three year anniversary? Yes. So, trying to see if we can do something. Um, I'm excited. Obviously, with everything going on, you know, last the last two years we've celebrated our anniversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been busting out the seams. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've packed the house. Uh, and so, trying to find a really large, like maybe bar or venue. Mm -hmm. um, and then just limit the RSVPs mm -hmm. and still celebrate because last year was super hard. Obviously, went through the name change and the relaunch and the rebrand. And mm -hmm. so I think we definitely deserve to celebrate. Um, yeah, and it is sure. still three years because yeah. I've been in business three years. Yeah. So, That's dope. Um, That's dope. yeah, thank That's you. Good. So hopefully we could do something. Um, we usually do a kicks and cocktails, mm -hmm. like I said, for the last two years. And mm -hmm. so we could do it this year that's the plan we gotta do it it's always falls around my birthday which is february 2nd so we might do it that saturday before yeah. it's the laced yeah. up cool invited yes of course <laughs> i'm gonna be there you guys won't have the rsvp <laughs> i got y'all right, cool, cool. you know i'm there you know i'm there i know that's always there as you uh celebrate year three coming up what what is something you're out looking for you know four or five or yeah. just for the future with, with some some plans or some thoughts that you have great question i think that you know bill you know making it i guess we're already i didn't realize when i was selling those planters that people were following us from other states and cities <laughs> i was yeah, like there was what? delaware uh uh brooklyn new york there was uh charlotte i was like what so i think just you know obviously building the name making sure we're a household name that would mm -hmm. be great um 
your go-to, you know, for women's sneaker events and when yeah. you come to the city. Oh, um, nice. Definitely some merch. I need some merch. I need to, <laughs> I need to like, That's really get some cool merch, maybe some hats. Um, and then, I mean, I guess the ultimate goal is to always make it, like, so profitable that this is my full-time job. Right. Uh, right. Exactly. And so exactly. that hopefully, let's put that into the air five right, years from sure. now. Yeah. I'm doing this full-time. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Great, great. Cool. So I know you've partnered with a couple of brands, but we just recently saw this Jordan <laughs> box oh, yeah, we've been looking that Thanks, dropped guys. in here. So we saw, I think it was you and Cassie and a few other yeah. women. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing anything with them, or was that just a one-time thing? What's what's it looking like? So, uh, we we were in talks. I don't know who sent that box. So, uh, uh -huh. I've been in talks with a few Jordan folks. Um, I would think I was supposed to be a part of that Elevens campaign. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what happened for for holiday Elevens. Mm. Um, and so I, they sent me that like right when I came back. So that was a complete surprise. I'm mm -hmm. not sure which Jordan person sent that or who. And just again, to be even on their radar is yeah. like, yeah. that was probably the, the best end of the year surprise. Because yeah. even like on the box, it said Tasha Kwan, creator yeah. of Her Girls. And I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So let's speak that into existence I as know, well. Right? We were talking yeah, about this definitely. earlier. Yeah. We, I mean, like with them signing a lot of women, like yeah. five or six women mm -hmm. to the brand, it seems like they're really reaching out to women right now. No, and for sure. To, like, push that, push that side yeah. of things. Jordan's been doing really well. Even All-Star last year, Chicago was like, That's right. like, I'm so happy I made it. It was almost like, I don't even know how to describe it. Almost like, I never thought we would be there. Yeah. Um, they, it was like so woman focused. They did so many great things with women around the city, mm -hmm. actual true women sneaker heads yeah. from Chicago. Um, they did so many activations just around women's launches. And I was really, so Jordan's really been doing great for the past yeah. couple of years. Yeah. And I'm impressed. Um, and so even with their releases, mm -hmm. um, who they brought on with like, um, you know, a Laylee May. Yeah. Melody Asani, um, and so I'm excited to see what else is there. Yeah. And so hopefully we continue that, and hopefully that it turns into a collaborative pro partnership. That's always the goal, right? To have your yeah. own sure. uh, Jordan. And with Jordan, I was about to say, <laughs> well, with Jordan, I was yeah. like, oh, dang, yeah. look at that. I know, that was honestly a great highlight uh, yeah. in not only my career, but just again to end the mm -hmm. year. And mm -hmm. like, this is what I'm supposed to do. This yeah. is, this, is uh, this just shows that it's, I'm on the right path. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, definitely. For sure. It's definitely. awesome. Are there any other brands you want to collab with or partner with? Oh yeah, with? always, always. You know, Puma's been number one mm -hmm. for a while just because they've been number that? one supporter. Puma. Puma, 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 Puma. Puma. It keeps coming up oh on this God. podcast. Why are you looking at me? Because when I told y'all about Puma, y'all laughed. Who <laughs> laughed? Both of them. I, I, did, I, I didn't laugh. <laughs> yeah, they I laughed. Didn't laugh. I just said I would take the Nike bag. Yeah, Wasn't that the question? I would for sure take Nike bag. That's all. I mean, go ahead, explain to him, Tasha. Nike I couldn't, Puma. I couldn't get through to him. It's uh, I'm okay, always. Got, the, your, if you had two, what options. was the question? Okay, yeah. doing a collab with Nike or doing a collab with Puma. Okay, Which so but see, doing? then there's like, it, it, there's like other factors. Take the variables again, out. Yeah. It's just a simple question. Man, it depends because they could really because that's what I mean. Nike, Jordan, it's different. The, look at the Jerry Lorenzo stuff, you know, yeah. also. And I mean, even Sean Witherspoon, you ultimately want you don't want to be tied down to Nike unless, you know, you're LeBron and Kobe right. for yeah. life. Hmm. That's like, true. I want to have my own Nike. I want to have my own Adidas. I want to have my own Puma, you know. Right. So but I mean, ultimately, without variables and other factors, man, that's tough. This would be tough, honestly. I would have to like really like if it was really placed in front of me. I would have to think about it because Puma has literally been our number one supporter. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, um, yeah, they definitely jump, have. Like before, I even really had probably a hundred followers. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know what? Let's this cut this out. Like, let's cut this out. We're not gonna make her answer this question. We signed. Wait, Puma. Is this Wait. under new ownership of Puma? Or this was like before. For like the the Jay Z Rock Nation, thing. it was before that. It was before that. It was before wow. that. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think like Puma. I'm trying to think like what's the first thing we did? Like they really. I mean, I want to say like few months into me starting 
what is now her grills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were like, here's a gift card. Go to the Puma store and go to this event. We need you there. That's what I'm talking about. And they sent me a gift card. Yeah. And that's it. And then it was just building, building, building. And now they they sponsored our relaunch I'm here for brunch. That. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. They is. send me shoes. They send my co-founder, Wendy, a bunch of stuff. Oh you know, yeah, Wendy's she's been the, killing yeah, it. Yeah, Wendy does a lot more stuff with Puma. And so it, it's just, again, I'm about like that, not necessarily like who was there at the, from the yeah, beginning because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not the yeah. case but it's just like they really is continually right, yeah. Yeah. been supportive yeah. and i like pumas right i really do rock pumas yeah. and so Puma. I, yeah. I love a pair of suede oh my god yeah. i love it yeah. all day you gotta have a pair of black you gotta suede. have yeah <laughs> a Klein. You, you, you got you got yeah. i got the low top all day all, all day all blue okay, i'm just trying I'm just like, you gotta have a pair of black <laughs> white but, still is up. Still, no, we did i i was i was a part of nike i just know i'm for sure what i'm getting from Nike, I know yeah. what I'm getting. For how okay, long? so what if they say you you getting a black Air Force One? Oh. Ooh. I'm going to freak it out. But I'm going to take like, the textures. Oh, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 make it seem like, like I'm rocking like you. Factor. And I can go to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give you a, I don't know, what's another, the Hirachi. You can make it work. Puma events are nice now. Yeah, I'm not. See, I'm just a, a Nike guy because mm-hmm. I know yeah. what no, Nike is. I'm a Nike girl. I know what Nike Every girl, yeah. Provides. Yeah. No, same. That's a good question. And... I mean, again, I'm all about like loyalty, and I'm loyal to Puma. Yeah, right. that's good. <laughs> so and, yeah, everything in the camera right, right now. Loyal, 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 Hey, baby, and I got paid to wear some Jordan clothes. Why well, didn't yeah. get paid? <laughs> but, uh, but hey, we speak about this. Yeah, I was going to say, speak that. Yeah. I don't Nike think I got paid for that, yeah. yeah Nike Yaka send me and my family a bunch of <laughs> black Air Force women. Right, I'll take some. <laughs> right. I am going to we'll rock. I am going to yeah. rock. I would love no, that. That was amazing. Like, I saw that on the I'm story. I was like, oh, she got a Jordan box I can't. with your name. How did it feel to get that Jordan box and seeing your name on it and just opening it up. Man, like, well, to come home to it, Yeah, I was like, I was like, what is this? I didn't even really look at it. And mm-hmm. then I was like, because I had went out of town. I went to Oregon, which is so funny. And I met up with some Nike girls there mm-hmm. that work at Nike. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like super full circle. And I was telling them about it. And then I come home to this package. So it was like a late Christmas present. Mm-hmm. And I opened it. I was like, what? and then it said my name. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, I got to frame it's this. Real, yeah. yeah. It was like, it had the little Jordan symbol, uh, well, the jump man. Yeah. And then with my name, I was like, whoa, this, it was honestly yeah, cool. like just unreal a little yeah, bit. I was yeah, like, ain't no sure. way they yeah. knew who I am. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, again, I mean, I've talked to some of the Jordan folks, but it's mm-hmm. not, again, just to have like a tangible and in my name and like actual writing on something, a card, mm-hmm. even the package, I would have been okay with that. So. It's great. Let me ask everybody a question on the panel. Uh, if you guys received a, a package from Jordan, you know, with your name on it, how would you feel? Like, you already know me. I'm crying. <laughs> 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 the tears that hit that box. box. You're emotional. <laughs> the tears that hit that box. I know. It will be like I that. I to know y'all like, a lot of the first episode. You're emotional. Emotional. Like, the emotional one. I'm telling you. I'm, telling you. you know, I'm, a, I'm a Nike Jordan boy, so. Yeah. You get send me a box of my name. You can say my initial on it. I'm, I'm right. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be out of there. So. Yeah. What about you, Billy? I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel accomplished. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's a, it's an For sure. Definitely. You know For I mean? sure. Because uh, you would just feel like my my influence has, like you said, it's touched numerous people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they Congra- think that. It'd be different for thank you. Yes. It'd be different for like Man, me to think that, though. but mama to think that. <laughs> No, I was talking. I was talking about somebody right here. Oh, no, you good? Talk. It'd be Go different. Ahead. Be like me to think that, my mama to think that, mm-hmm. but Jordan thought that. That's yeah, right. That's so, right. but yeah, what would you do? I'm gonna go with oh, Steph. Steph. First. It's Steph. a whole experience. Yeah. Like camera out, I know. video <laughs> taking the whole <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Mom, dad, look I at this. I said this to my mama. I did say it. My mom was like, Michael? Michael? Like, <laughs> Michael? Oh, that's like, crazy. What? Yes, it's an experience. Yeah. Everybody's going to be in on it. It's yeah. it's a party. I yeah. might open some champagne. No, like, honestly. Nah, that's, that's how I feel. Yeah. I'd be like, wow. I made it. I'll probably just stare at the box for so long. Right. You know? Like, yeah. It's incredible. How many yeah. times have you worn an outfit? Uh, I haven't worn it yet. Oh, see, I'd have worn it already. 
Yeah, I know. I, 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 I'd have been in my patience. birthday shooting that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said to sleep in it. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was a whole unit, and oh, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was like a. It was dope. Uh, it was like winter slopes type thing, you know, skiing thing. So it yeah. had a top, a bottom, and then they gave me a tee as well, and mm-hmm. then some sunglasses from Bonnie and Clyde, and then some jewelry from is it Janelle? Uh, she's a cool. She's a big deal in the yeah. sneaker community. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely dope. That's sick. That's sick. So let's get into the sneakers that you yes. brought. Our okay. Favorite part. Yes. Ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. So some of the shoes I brought. We'll start with my holy grail. Uh, this is the re-release. This is this year. I got two pairs this time. Okay. Cause 2010, my pair is beat. And so these are the Air Max 90 infrareds, Ooh, which yeah. is like my ultimate, ultimate. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm also contemplating if I should have got three. Um, this release, I feel like, is a little brighter mm-hmm. than 2010. Yeah, it is. It, is. it but seems like it. not as red. It's a little more neon orange. But still, the holy grail in my closet. Again, I have two. Gotta continually have these. If they re-release, keep re-releasing. Before, before you move on, yeah. how did you feel about the box? <laughs> I loved it. I love the old school vibe. So they did that with the like the bolts <clears throat> that came out. They kind of like uh, been doing this tiny box, well, the old school box. And so yeah. I like it. I'm not mad at it. I like the nostalgia, yeah. um, you know, and uh, it's tinier for the closet. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. it's a little easier. I think they're, they're, they're shrinking their boxes for uh, recycling purposes. Mm. That could be too. They want to uh, uh, lessen their carbon footprint. Yeah, right. They've been doing right. a lot with like the space hippies mm-hmm. and all that. Stuff. I love those space hippies. Yeah. they're comfortable. Yeah, I haven't worn them, but I like them. So this is my first dunk. Um, first dunk ever. My first dunk ever. Okay. So and I still have it. it again, it's it's probably beat. This is probably a decade old, almost almost a decade old. Mm. So these are my Thai temples. Mm. Oh, um, wow. Wow. Man, such a comfortable shoe, uh, and again, probably wore the hell out of these back in the day. I think one of the aglets is missing, um, and again, just beating them to hell. But hey, wear your kicks. Right. right. Sure, sure. You're all about that, uh, wearing your kicks. Uh, man, what year was this? It might have been, uh, is it 12? 12, okay. I don't know. I got to look. But th- it is, it probably was, if not 10, 11 or 12. Okay, gotcha. Um, gotcha. No, actually, this might be 09. This might be 09 or uh, 2010. Mm-hmm. Let me see one. Because I think I was 19 when I bought these. So this might be, uh, yeah, it 2009. Yeah. It's, 10, it's 10. Okay. It's 10. Yep. I was like, if not, if, <laughs> 9, it's somewhere 10. on there. Um, so, yeah. First dunk, got to keep those forever. The rest I sold before I came oh. back. Dang. So we were rookies. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a lot, but the few that I did have, I sold. And so I had, thank God I kept those. Yeah. Well, also, because you just need some room sometimes. Yeah. Um, This one, you know, I had to bring a women's release up here. This is one of my favorite shoes ever. Like, yeah. I love it. It's so comfortable. This is the women's OG, yes. Jordan. We talked about that. We talked about them. We talked them. about yeah. that. They don't my size. That, that's my, oh that's my, my favorite gosh. Jordan box ever. No. Oh, yeah. That, that's I love box. it. That's I my, love fa- it. That's my it's favorite so Jordan box right? ever. It came off, but yeah, this is so comfortable. So comfortable. Like, I am so happy that I didn't sleep so on nasty. these. I'll never forget about those. I. This is one of my favorite women's releases. And again, it's the only women's, like, well, the first OG women's mm-hmm, Jordan. So, mm-hmm. I mean, well, yeah, the on, only silhouette. Yeah. Uh, this is the only one. So I had to have it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of Pumas, you know, there I had we go. Puma, <laughs> there we go. The Why do you keep looking at me, Pumas. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. These are one of my favorite Pumas. Also, the silhouette of Puma Clyde. Man, yeah. I could rock yeah. all day, especially a suede. I love, like, monochromatic. Yeah. Um, and these are so dope. I love it. Like the Vincetta tan. Mm-hmm. Um, it has the uh, IAH 2A1. There was only 44 pairs made. That's crazy. So I think people slept on these, and I'm yeah. glad they did because I got my pair. And I'm excited that I still own them. I, the box, I have the box. I don't know where it is, though. Because the box is really cool. It's old school box, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then lastly, I guess the second Holy Grail. Everyone knows I have these. Yeah. I always bring them. But... The satin royal ones. Those are so pretty. Um, which is extremely rare. This is the kids. I think there was three hundred made in the world. Yeah. Wow. Um, 
and then I think 700 of the men, adults. Uh, and so... That line, at what, what they released in Houston um, at... Um, Active Athlete. Active Athlete. Yep. Yep. That line. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was blessed these. Uh, is, is the I side, wish I could wear kids. Also? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's numbered also? Yeah, 301. Okay. So I have 59. Wow. That's dope. Um, yeah, so try not to wear these much, but I did, you know, I feel like... This is such. A, I have the, also the regular Royals. I really enjoy it. I'm not even a blue girl, but I really, really yeah. like these, and mm-hmm. I think it's such a classic. And then oh, again, this is really dope to you know. It was only released in Atlanta and Houston, so yeah. Yeah. another like I love a story behind my yeah. kids. So this is ultimate, probably Grail. Yeah, that was a dope. Yeah, that was it. That See, was that was quick. Oh, that was that wasn't bad. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was really good. good. You, you really you did. You said six. You exceeded it. Like Nineteen <laughs> shoes. No, <laughs> I had three shoes. <laughs> oh, my, like, my stories were just. You had good. Long. Yeah, yeah. Because they had do be like that story. Like again, these story. all have like a story. That's why I asked yeah. you about the. Box. Oh wait, I brought my eights. But oh, that where are they at? No, we gotta see them. That's what you walked across the stage in. I know, but that so that I brought those two. So okay, that was, but that yeah, what I graduated in, they're beat. They, mm-hmm. I, maybe I could get somebody like repaint them. But that's the best part. Yeah, no, wear them yeah. yeah. beat. Yeah, wear them beat. Wear them beat. Yeah, 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 I do that sure. sometimes. Like the Air, the Air Max ninety was, we've worn those out. <laughs> it was so, about time. So do you have a shoe in your collection? Well, not in your collection that you were just that you just wish you had. Yeah, absolutely. The off white uh, fours for the women's ones. Yeah, with the, same. With the sale. Yeah. Um, still upset. Like I really, those are really. I don't really try for a lot of shoes. Like for yeah. me, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I'm not gonna push the issue. Besides, those Air Max 90s, um, which I didn't have to try too hard because y'all was sleeping on those. People Nobody were sleeping on them, them 90s, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I was good in and out. Um, but the those, sales. yeah. Um, I was asleep. I'm, oh. I mean, I was sick. I was so upset. Oh, okay. I really, really am still upset. I still don't have those. Yeah, and but, now it's like, I mean, it's too yeah, much. it's outrageous. <laughs> Again, women's shoes I usually try uh, harder than regular, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just because again, it's usually it's rare that we get dope ones. Yeah, right. I wore me a pair of women's shoes today just for you. Oh, what are you wearing? <laughs> I didn't even see. Okay, yep, I didn't even just notice. For you. Thank <laughs> you. Yep, just for you. Oh my Look at Billy on the <laughs> first that. the first episode. <laughs> you he know, comes on here. I'm thinking a little to bit. Win the ladies <laughs> over. Uh, so before we get out of here, we're going to discuss uh, what we have on today. So. Okay. Uh, ladies first, of course, Steph. Um, Jordan 4s, all white. I found these randomly at my parents' place. They I was, was like, crispy. what? Oh, we've seen you found a bunch of shoes. Yeah, at your parents I, like place. randomly. They have yeah. all of my sneakers, so. They but look I was excited clean. about these. Yeah, thank you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have on Air Force One Lows, the mm-hmm. snake print. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, these are the ones that came with the matching socks. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I forgot about Also that. a sleeper. I should have got two of these because yeah. I've been wearing these out. Yeah. You get multiple. Um, yeah. I have on the <laughs> off white Vapor Street uh, comfortable woman shoe. Yeah. I wanted to wear it because we were having Tasha on. Thanks, course. guys. Shout out to I the ladies. Look at you guys. So, yeah. I love it. Wait, yeah. you didn't have to wear pink because of me. <laughs> yeah, I That's sexist. See, that's sexist right, right there. Let's really get into we don't that. like it. We all don't <laughs> like pink. We, talk about. we all don't care about the pink. That's the question we should have asked. We should have asked What about that? these colors what that are coming out? What about these pink? <laughs> they on you? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. like, oh, Bentley. Bentley, say me. I got on um, 06 Harbor Blue Threes. Ooh. It's a women's release. Oh, wow. So, 06, yeah. He takes care of his kicks, you yeah. can see. Yeah. For I'm sure. Pine green ones. Yeah. Lace swap. Okay. Yeah. Those were cute. I, I've, I feel like I slept on those in the court purples as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, Looking back, I should have got those. Well, Tasha, it's been a pleasure having you. Yes. You're absolutely amazing. We're sorry for the, uh, the hold up. No. Oh, right. We're supposed to been here. That's right. to have you in I season know. one. So many times. Trust me. Trust me. No apologies needed. Yeah. I am so excited. We finally got me on. I am thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for having me. No, yes. Yeah, I'm excited um, to watch the episode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This should be good. <laughs> Anything else before we get out of here, Steph? Um. No. Oh, sorry, Steph. No, I'm good. I'm good. That's like, it. Um, I'm, I'm. I'm excited to see what you guys have in year three, uh, and of course, I'm always there to support you, you one thousand percent. So I really you appreciate so much you coming for your on. Your continuous support. Yes. I appreciate it. Honestly, Steph has been such 
uh, an ally. Like, I feel like you've been so supportive and also just, like, always there. Yeah. So I appreciate you. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Thank you for the, the pep talk for the three-year. I need all that. Yes. <laughs> Anything for Tasha, guys, before we get out of here? Hey, congratulations on everything. Thanks, Keep, right, keep Congrats, pushing forward. Congrats. We're going to be guys. looking for for big things out of the women in Houston. Yes. And merch. Yes. Oh yes, God, merch. Y'all go get the merch. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, before we get out of here, my sister is a big fan of yours. Oh! Yeah, she randomly called me and was like, um, you having Tasha on? I can't believe it. Oh, I'll my follow God. Her. She's a yeah, celebrity. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. Yeah, I, will, I, will, I need to get sure. her some stickers. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank well, you. That's been episode 15. Thank yes. you again, Tasha. Of course. Laced Thank up. you. We out. Yes, sir. Bye, y'all.